What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Mark. I need to shave, I know. But today we are doing rating my subscribers cars number nine, I think now. So this series has become like a, like a running series on the channel. And so thank you guys for that. The series is so much fun to do. So if you want to see your car in the next one, by all means, please send me a DM on Instagram at ss.marky and I will for sure review it. These are so much fun. I love them. I love the diversity too. Like some of you guys have old muscle cars. Some of you guys have trucks. Some of you guys have JDM cars. Most of you guys have JDM cars. Some of you guys have Euro cars. I love it. So please don't feel like scared to send in your car. I'll review everything. Anyway, guys. Uh, oh, new channel. I have a new YouTube channel. The link is going to be at the top of the description. If you want to go check it out, please, by all means, go over there. If that channel blows up, I can use it to support this channel and build cool cars for you guys and make more content. So anyway, let's get right into the video. Sorry for wasting your time. Up is Project D Works on Instagram, and he has whatever in the world this thing is. He says nothing online on my uh, DM about it. He doesn't say what it is. He doesn't say what he's done to it. But he's obviously in a different country because I don't even think we have these in America. So I'm sorry, but I don't know what this is. So if you do, oh, it's a Suzuki, some sort of Suzuki. But uh, if you do, please let me know. He doesn't say anything about it. But I do like it. First of all, I like the wheels. Uh, I don't know what it is about this car. I mean, if you lowered it, that, okay, I'm going to already right off the bat say the one thing I would change on it, and that is lowering it more. Maybe your roads aren't that good, but who cares, man? Slam this thing because the wheel gap is not it. But with this thing slammed, it would oddly work. Now, hear me out. It ain't the coolest car. I wouldn't like spend my money on this, but it works. And especially like where you're from, I'm sure it's hard to get like a 350Z or something like that from there. And so this works you're making great work with what you got and i love it those wheels are really nice by the way i saw somebody one time say that like white wheels are for play and then like silver wheels are more classy and that is so true white wheels are just so like they look like so much fun every time i see them on a car i'm just like ooh, that looks like a fun car but i like the car uh one thing i would change is for sure like i said the ride height one thing i would keep is the wheels i love white wheels man they look so good all right, next up, we got Jorge Rivera. Uh, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, buddy, but you have a Toyota Celica. I think that's a Toyota Celica. That's a Toyota Celica, right? Yeah, okay, that's a Toyota Celica. Uh, he has a red Toyota Celica. Once again, doesn't really give me much of a uh, build list here. All he says is it was his first car and that it wasn't expensive. I sure hope it wasn't expensive because I'm not a big fan of these cars, I'm going to be honest. Especially not this body kit. It looks kind of like bubbly, like way too bubbly. It looks out of like the 2000s. Like if that's what you're going for, by all means, then it does look good, but... I'm just not my, I'm just not a fan of those. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm sorry. Also, I'm not a big fan of the wheels either. The wheels could be better. I'm not sure what kind of wheels they are, but maybe they're like super expensive wheels. I don't know because nowadays you can never know with freaking wheels. Some people are like, oh, these wheels are five grand and they look like stock BMW wheels. I'm just like, why? Why are they five grand? They don't look special at all. But so maybe these wheels are super expensive. So I'm not gonna roast those just because I might get roasted. But I don't really like the body kit. The Celica, this, this generation Celica, I'm not a big fan of, but I do, I have seen some that are really nice, well put together. So maybe if you bought it like this and you're going to be changing it, then absolutely, I'm all here for it. But if you did this yourself, I'm not a big fan, man. I'm going to be honest. I think I would have uh, opted with a more OEM look with, for this car. But I mean, it is a Celica. I'm sure it's fun. And it is a first car. Like you said, it, first cars aren't supposed to be like perfect. And so I understand that. One thing I would change on it is absolutely the body kit. And the one thing I would keep on it is the just keep it stock like that put stock parts on this car and then keep it that way all right next up we got nick shane at nick.shane17 on instagram and he has a 2010 370z with a carbon fiber hood 19 inch raised wheels cold air intake sorry uh aftermarket exhaust it's lowered an inch in the rear also that's not a stock 370z bumper is it that ain't a stock 370z bumper why didn't you and why didn't you mention that you also tinted your taillights and you have tinted windows come on man you're selling yourself short you got to include everything when you talk about these freaking build lists buddy but it is a nice car uh i love the 370z's it's a start he says he just bought it so that makes sense because it's not like super built yet but it's honestly for just buying it you've done a lot to it so i like that just keep going don't give up this thing's going to be beautiful one day i can already tell you have good taste i like everything about it except for the front bumper that's the one thing i would change for sure that front bumper just doesn't work for me i just like the stock nissan Nissan has very good OEM parts. They always have. All their OEM bodies always look really, really well. So you don't need aftermarket stuff to make it look good. Maybe like lips and stuff like that, but no like actual different bumpers. Like the bumper on my 350Z is a Nismo bumper from a 350Z, obviously. Just just so I would just go with a Nismo freaking 370Z bumper because they look the best. But besides that, it's really nice. Uh, I can tell what you're going for here. It's like a black and white theme. I like that. I love those wheels. I don't know if those are stock freaking. I mean, you say they're 19-inch rays, but are they like nissan replicas because those look oddly familiar to the freaking normal nissan 370z wheels but anyway i like the car it's freaking sick i would keep 
the wheels. Although I would get better fitment, like maybe buy spacers, but I would definitely keep them. I just maybe get some spacers and then I would change the freaking front bumper. I just don't like that. All right, next up, you got G Cuts on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure this is a ninth. Yeah, it's a ninth gen. He's got a ninth gen Civic. I don't know if it's an SI or whatever it is, but it's it's nice, man. First of all, that color is popping. Okay, that color is freaking pop, 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 popping. It looks good. It looks good AF. Also, you are just like you are doing the perfect civic build okay civics owners always try to go overboard with their builds not realizing that they just look good if you lower them and make them look a little aggressive that's all you need to do to these civics to make them look good and that's exactly what you're doing and it looks nice like this thing is freaking clean man i like it i like it a lot like you have just like perfect splitters and everything for it, it just it looks good he also says it's on springs oem prelude wheels with spacers uh it's got a black top and 15 percent tint uh those prelude wheels go freaking hard I'm just going to say, everything about the Prelude goes hard. Freaking Preludes are sick. I want a Prelude so bad. But those Prelude wheels work really well on this car, surprisingly. I did not think it would. Um, your fitment's nice. It looks fun and good at the same time. That color, though, I can't get over that color. It's really nice, man. I don't, is, that an, is that a factory color? I mean, it's got to be. He didn't list it, so it's got to be a factory color. If that's a factory color, that is a beautiful color. So I, that's the one thing I would keep. It's definitely the freaking factory color. The one thing I would change is personally i like silver wheels so maybe if you just painted those prelude wheels like chrome or white or something i would like it a little bit better but i see what you're going for and i don't mind it i don't mind it all right next up we got keegan at hawk egan uh he's got a 2003 nissan 350z sts rear mount turbo kit that is sick 19 inch varstones es2s wrapped in nitto envos real volk center caps upgraded cd009 clutch and flywheel let's go baby cd009s are the, are the best nismo short shifter walbro 255 with upgraded uh injectors burke test pipe scott speed headers cars tuned at four and a half pounds and 330 horsepower on a mild old tune that's good for a freaking de man all right let's be let's everybody needs to be honest here with themselves a de making 330 horsepower is pretty good yes it does take a lot of work <laughs> and a lot of money but hey it's good all right and the cars i mean i'm, I'm biased all right boys i love 370 uh, 350 z's i have one who doesn't like them but this thing i mean it's it's nice it's a start uh, obviously he doesn't really care for like the aesthetics looks to it he cares more about performance because he hasn't really touched anything on the outside except for the wheels and so i get that but I just love, I think these cars can look so cool if you modify the exterior. So please, man, modify it. Like put a diffuser on it or maybe a side skirt or a duck bill. I know it's basic, but it's basic because it looks good, man. Also, a rear mount turbo? That is freaking sick, man. I love those. I love 350Z owners, man. We are just so weird. We do the most weird things. We are not normal people. And it's it's just amazing. I like that about it. The Varstone wheels go hard. Once again, they're black, though. I'm just not a big fan of black. Um, the fact that it's rear mounted turbo it just blows my mind every time i keep seeing it in this picture here it just keeps blowing my mind away i love the car man i just love it all right I, there's nothing else, else the one thing i would change about it is your headlights seem a little bit like faded fix that man come on now uh mine are too so don't worry but <laughs> fix that the only thing i keep about it is obviously the fact that it's a freaking rear mount turbo that is beautiful all right next up is Akeem, uh, Akeem Music, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he has a 2006 330i E90. He has M3 style mirror caps, new headlights, blacked out side marker, double slide skinny grill, M4 style wing, which actually looks really good. Just going to put that out there. Custom V brace with PVC pipe, muffler delete and secondary cat. What I want to do next is get my new wheels on it and tint the car and maybe lower it. Wheels are 18 by eight and a half plus. Okay. Well, it looks good. All right. I'm just going to say that real quick. Bronze wheels. You have to have the most perfect like car to run bronze but like you have if you're running bronze wheels you got to design the whole car around the bronze wheels and unfortunately i don't think the wheels look good in this all right man i think if you had just gone with some silver wheels it would have looked a lot better but it does say that you're changing the wheels so i'm assuming that these are different wheels and you're going to change them it's something different though i i understand what you were going for you know you didn't want to follow everybody else that does the exact same thing with these e90s and you 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 made it different the e freaking m4 style wing looks really good by the way just like it's such a subtle touch but it it goes a long way and it isn't like ricer either it's not like it's like sticking out in your face it's 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 good i like that wing uh definitely change up the front bumper though these cars in the front look so like just weak and feminine like you have to change up the front of these freaking e90s that aren't m3s or else they just look so weird but change up the front a little bit man that's the one thing i would change on it the one thing i would keep on it is that duck bill it looks good it tint your windows too by the way and, and if you can take that chrome piece like the chrome trim off and paint match it to the rest of the car i saw one e90 do that he paint matched it to the same color of the car and not didn't go black like cheap plasti dip black he didn't keep it chrome he paint matched it and it looked awesome so if you do that man 
10 out of 10 freaking i love when they do that but it's a nice car i love e90s i love uh this generation actually the e9x generation bmws are just beautiful cars so all righty and last up is my actual real life friend eric buddha go follow him on youtube guys i freaking you guys have seen him before you all y'all know eric buddha but he's got a wrx i don't know what year he didn't give me like a mod list because he's eric and he's a boy but he has a wrx and guess what the thing is freaking real world drive swapped and he drifts it and he drifts it incredibly good so if you want to go see like an actual good drifter and the fact that his rear wheel drive go check out eric buddha he's like the best of our friends group for sure he's really good at it he's also like just insanely good when it comes to mechanics he helps us out a lot but anyway eric you already know how i feel about your wrx man it is sick okay it is freaking sick it's the coolest wrx i know because i don't really care for wrx's that much the fact that it's rear wheel drive makes me like it the reason why i don't like the wrx is because they're all wheel drive he made it freaking rear wheel baby this thing chirps like crazy too every time i'm behind him i just hear because it's welded diff he's got so much little things done to it that i can't really remember them right now and funny enough, this car actually used to be a freaking hot boy car. He used to have it all slammed on the ground with RPF1s and camber and all that stuff. It used to just be like a show car. And then out of nowhere, he was just like, you know what? I'm going to freaking make this thing rear wheel drive. Why not? And that's what he did. And now he just slays. He slays everywhere he goes. But yeah, Eric, you already know I love your car, man. It's freaking sick. We got to hang out again, by the way. I think we're hanging out this Sunday, boys. So if you guys want to see some more Eric and, and Mark content this Sunday, check in because I think we're doing something to the Z. But yeah that's that's eric's car i love it anyway guys that is the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe and please send a dm of your car to me on instagram so i can review it all right buddy come on now y'all need to do that man i love you guys but you guys gotta you guys are slacking on the on the on the submissions for the reviews now all right let's do that also guys thank you guys so much for even supporting this like review channel it's so much fun also my dog is saying thank you up there i don't know if you can hear her she's really polite when it comes to that but it's been so much fun and so if you guys want to keep seeing these like i said send them in also go check out the new channel we've got a lot of support on that channel so thank you guys for that too and obviously thank you guys for the support we get on this channel we recently surpassed 12,000 subscribers and it's just unbelievable we've only been doing this for like a year and a half and we've already come this far i can only imagine where it's going to be in like 10 years from now i'm trying my best to come up with content for you guys but it's really really hard so if you guys have any sort of content ideas please 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 let me know in the comments below and i'll try my best to do it uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching das have a nice night